There have been more protests in Bahrain, demanding the release of a jailed activist who's been on hunger strike. Police and protesters clashed in Manama on Sunday night. Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja has been on hunger strike for two months. He's serving a life sentence for taking part in anti government protests last year. Speaking from the Bahraini capital, Manama, Al Khawaja's daughter says he sounds very weak. He started this hunger strike saying it's freedom or death and he was uh, he knew that it was a very big possibility it would be death. He told me on one of the visits where we did get to see him not to be afraid. He told me that if my only goal was to be released, I'm not sure, maybe there's a 20% chance that I would get released alive. But my goal is for the world to see what's happening in Bahrain and what's happening to Bahrainis, not just to me, but to the hundreds of political prisoners. Actually, right now, there are prisoners in Bahrain as young as 12 years old. And he told me when it comes to this goal, I know I will achieve it. And he was right. Now the world is talking about Bahrain and what's happening in Bahrain through his case. My father is a human rights activist, but the regime in Bahrain, they know what the rest of the world want to hear. To get the pressure off, they try to call everyone in Bahrain a terrorist. Everyone who calls for democracy, they call them Shiites who are terrorists who, or, you know, Islamists, because they think that that would put less pressure on them. In Bahrain, we are a people who are simply demanding democracy and equality. All we want is freedom. And my father is a human rights activist who's working for those things as well. I don't think any daughter is prepared for her father's death, um, especially me. I'm the closest uh, person to my father. I'm very close to him. I'm not sure how I could continue living after if he does die. Um, but I'm very proud of him. And I know that um, dying with dignity is better than living in humiliation. He has always taught us that. And he has always taught us that freedom is a cause that's worth dying for. And I believe in that.